Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Nick, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how I like to prepare Brussels sprouts. This is a great side dish for your Thanksgiving dinner, or for any dinner for that matter. So let's get this started. And we're gonna start with bacon. I love adding bacon to these Brussels sprouts because everything is better with bacon. And how I like to make bacon is in the oven. So just get a sheet tray lined with parchment paper and just arrange your bacon. Make sure it's not overlapped on each other. Make sure they have plenty of room to render all that fat out and get nice and crispy. I have my oven preheated to 400 degrees Fahrenheit or 205 degrees Celsius. And I learned this method, I used to work the brunch shift. Every morning at 5 a.m. I would line about four or five full sheet trays of bacon and get it all cooked off and it was so easy to do. But I'm not a morning person so those were some of the darkest days of my life. But learned a lot of good things and one of them was how to cook this bacon. So no more bacon in the pan. This is so much easier. So we'll get this in the oven about 15-20 minutes. Meantime we'll get our Brussels sprouts prepared. We're just going to take the ends off here. Take off any excess leaves that are hanging off that will just burn. I'm just going to split these right in half. Just like that. This way they'll cook faster, they'll get some nice color, as opposed to cooking them whole. So we'll do that for the rest of these. Again, any excess leaves you want to remove. I got a little bowl there I like to keep instead of going back and forth to the garbage. And just split them right in half. See a lot of times Brussels sprouts are steamed or boiled and I just much prefer to roast them. You get a much better flavor, get some nice color, and they just taste a lot better. Also when you steam or boil them it just gives off a really really bad smell and anything that smells bad you're not going to want to eat so much better to roast them. So I never really liked Brussels sprouts until I made them like this and since then it's one of my favorite vegetables to eat. So just cut the rest of these and put them aside. Meantime our bacon's done and look at that perfect crispy, beautiful color, and we just throw out that parchment paper when it's all finished, so cleanup is even easy. So definitely just do your bacon in the oven. No need to put two or three strips at a time in a pan and have oil splat all over. This is a much better method. So we're just gonna let this cool for a few minutes, put this aside, finish off our Brussels sprouts. Got everything in a bowl here. I bumped up the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius. I'm just gonna add a little bit of olive oil to these Brussels sprouts. Add a generous pinch of kosher salt. And some fresh cracked pepper. That's all the seasoning we need for these Brussels sprouts. And whenever I'm roasting any vegetable, I like to put it into a bowl like this. This way I can just give it a toss and all the seasoning and all the olive oil just coats the vegetable evenly. So make sure that's thoroughly tossed. I got a sheet tray lined with aluminum foil. And we're just gonna put the Brussels sprouts right on that sheet tray. Spread that out. Make sure they have plenty of room. This way we can get some color on these Brussels sprouts because color is flavor. We don't want these to steam, we want these to roast. So I'll put that in the oven, about 15 minutes. In the meantime, we'll prepare the rest of our ingredients. I have a block of Pecorino Romano here. You could use any hard cheese you like. And I like to just cut this. Not too thick, not too thin. Maybe about a quarter inch. We'll cut it into strips like this. And we're just gonna add this to our Brussels sprouts in these cubes. So I'm gonna cut strips and just cut them into cubes. And this adds a nice salty bite to the Brussels sprouts. And it's gonna really go well with the dried cranberries I add to this. So you have that nice salt, sweet, and it just goes really beautifully with these Brussels sprouts. So we'll just get the rest of this cheese cut. Same thing. And you could use any hard cheese you like. As I said, Parmigiano Reggiano works well. We'll set that aside. We'll bring back our bacon, which is 
perfectly crispy. And I'm just gonna cut that bacon about the same size as the cheese. And hopefully I don't eat all this bacon by the time those Brussels sprouts are done. Because I already ate a couple of strips of bacon, not gonna lie. So the rest I'll just get cut. I'll put this on a plate lined with a paper towel to get some of that excess fat off. And we'll just put that aside until our Brussels sprouts are finished. And then this dish is done. Everything comes together. And this could all be done ahead of time. So there's our Brussels sprouts after 15 minutes. They look perfect. We don't want to overcook these. We want them to have some bite. I like to hit them with a little bit of lemon juice when they come out of the oven. Just brightens up the dish, gives it some nice acidic flavor. So you could do the cheese, you have the cranberries, the bacon, all could be done ahead of time so you're all ready for Thanksgiving. And then on the day of Thanksgiving, you just roast the Brussels sprouts, add everything in. It's really simple to do. So we'll add that back to our bowl, add the cheese, add our dried cranberries. You could add as much or as little as you like. And finally, that beautiful bacon will add in. And then just toss that together, and that's a perfect Thanksgiving side dish, or any dinner side dish, like I said. This is a great Brussels sprout dish. Just put that on a little side plate here. It's a meal in itself, actually. Mound that up a bit, and there it is. That is my roasted Brussels sprouts. Hope you enjoyed this recipe. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. New videos every week. Thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.